gospel today, uh, the disciples ask Jesus to teach them to pray. I don't know if you find that um, surprising. For me, I find that surprising. Jewish people, they pray, I think, seven times a day. So they know how to pray. Why are they asking Jesus to teach them to pray? And I think it's because they, they saw something on how Jesus prayed. Uh, they witnessed Jesus so busy preaching and healing the sick. He's so exhausted, tired, and yet they, they witness how he's eager, he's so excited to pray. He would set aside time every day to pray. And after coming out of prayer, they saw Jesus, you know, it's like there's more zeal to do the will of God. You know, he, he, they, they witness how Jesus is getting the energy that he needs to do the work that the Father asked him to do. So that's why they asked him to teach them to pray. And the very words, the very first words that Jesus taught them is the Our Father. Our Father. Okay? And we all know about this prayer. Maybe we, we say this Our Father prayer several times a day too. But do we know the significance of this prayer? Because if we know the significance of this prayer, it will transform us and it will transform the world. I want you to remember three words from this prayer, Our Father. First, and these three words starts with the letter I, so the three I's, okay? The first one is identity. Whenever we say the Our Father, we need to know our identity as beloved sons and daughters of God who is our Father. And Jesus is teaching us this prayer because he wants to remind us your identity, our identity as beloved sons and daughters of God. And because we are sons and daughters of God, we share that Jesus is sharing with us that intimacy, the second I, the intimacy that we need to have with the Father. Okay? So, identity, intimacy. So, the question is, whenever we're praying this Our Father, are we reminded of our identity? And are we growing in our intimacy with the Lord? Or are we just saying this prayer in a very mechanical way? Okay? The third I. What's the third I? If you know your identity, if you're growing your intimacy with the Lord, the third I is intentionality. Intentionality. In, very intentional in doing the mission. Jesus was that. Jesus modeled that to us. He was very intentional in doing the mission that God the Father has called him to do. And what is that mission? to bring God's kingdom into this world. And that's what we're all called to do. Are we intentional in the mission that God called us to do? Yesterday, I was talking about the Great Commission from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. Are we intentional in doing that? You have to ask yourselves that. I have to ask myself about that. Are we intentional? Are we bringing God's kingdom into this world? And how do we bring God's kingdom into the world? The first one is by loving. Because God is love. Whenever we love, we bring God's kingdom into this world. Second, by proclaiming the word of God. Because we want others also to know their identity. We want others also for them to grow in that intimacy with God the Father. So we need to proclaim the Word of God. There's an urgency. There's so many people there who do not know their identity. That's why they're lost. 
That's why a lot of people are confused. A lot of people are discouraged. That's why there's an urgency to proclaim the good news that we have to them. Okay? And in, in, Matthew, in Matthew chapter 10, verse 7 to 8, it says there, As you go proclaim the good news, the kingdom of God has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. By doing this, we're bringing God's kingdom into this world. Okay? The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Are we intentional? Are we intentional in doing this? If we're not intentional, maybe you still don't know your identity. You haven't grown in your intimacy. Okay? So today, let's do a day of reflection about the three eyes, identity, in intimacy, intentionality, as we pray the Our Father.